Hello, Manvita. Hi. Um, I'm very glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. uh, you're Manvita Baradi from, uh, where are you from? The Urban Management Center, Ahmedabad, India. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're here for a workshop with uh, Swedes. Correct. Yeah. Well, I would like to ask you about the story, the sto uh, stories that you can tell from your experience, range of experiences in India. Mm -hmm. I know that you've been working in urban development projects, sustainable mm -hmm. development projects and that you're using specific methods for conveying messages correct between different stakeholders this can be difficult or it can be yeah it's actually very interesting and extremely challenging uh, in our context uh, one you know india is a diverse country uh, lots of stakeholders lots of points of views uh, there are multiple choices people need to make it's also a question of empowerment who makes the choices and for who is the choice made. Mm. So in such a climate, uh, we've found that it's extremely important that there is um, collaboration, there is discussion, there is dialogue, and not just one way of doing things. Uh, in our experience, we've learned and tried out uh, a form of communication which best works is theater. Mm. And it Theater is not just uh, glamour. Theater is not just standing on the stage and being pretty and you know just uh, saying just the things uh, which are more uh, acceptable. Mm. But going to the community, mm. performing there, looking in front of their eyes directly, and at that in that environment, I can't lie. You know, when, when I'm performing in front of an audience who is raw, who is maybe caught unaware uh, in 360 degrees angle, because when I'm in street, I'm standing in, in the middle, the audience is all around me. Oh, it's street theater even. Yes, mm -hmm. it's not just frontal communication. Mm. It is communication all around me. Mm. And at that point of time, I'm, I'm audience is very close. It's hardly three feet, four feet, ten feet. And I can see them. And I look into their eyes. And I can't lie. So what I'm talking as an actor is becomes very, very important. Mm. So in the process of making such a performance, my actors have to be ready. What message I'm giving, in what form I'm giving, has to be, the actors need to be prepared. Now, how would the actor be prepared in the topic of, say, urban development or urban planning, mm. which are very complex issues? Mm -hmm. But for instance, if I, if I may uh, yeah, go on. give you uh, an example, uh, in my state where I'm living, uh, there, was a, there was an earthquake in 2001. Mm. And we had to communicate to the audience that instead of uh, shifting from the city, which was broken, uh, which had multi a lot of deaths because, because of the earthquake. They wanted to run away and build a new city. We said, and the government felt later, uh, a lot of other NGO groups, non-government groups, felt that it might be a good idea to rebuild where you are. One, resources. Second, your roots, your identity. Uh, all those issues were together. It was, however, difficult to convince people initially because they wanted to move out. They mm. wanted to run away. No, let's come together and rebuild. Mm. Now, such a complex message, if I, we would have just put posters, we would have written essays or articles in the newspaper, wouldn't have worked. We had to go to the people. Mm. So we designed a play, a play where it was a street play, uh, where pros and cons were uh, discussed through the actors and we would perform it uh, in temporary shelters, we would perform it in uh, places where people were trying to relocate uh, some of the uh, communities which had lost houses, lost children, lost families and had variety of um, actors um, based on the reality. Hmm. And then after the play, they stayed on, discussed each and every point, and talked to us as actors. It was an amazing experience. Mm. 